Pinky. These are doggy treats. These are doggy like treats for Angus. Angus. Look at that. Do you want to have a doggy treat, Angus? He's like, we, we're an ice cream family and doggies don't get left out, huh? He's trying to look your way. He knows. Oh, <laughs> Is that a good treat, buddy? Did you say you're tempted to try it? I mean, like, I kind of am. I think real ice cream is probably better for humans. Probably. <laughs> but Angus likes it, don't you, buddy? Good afternoon, beautiful people. We are doing a grocery haul today for our new house. And it's the first big one that we've done, so I'm really excited because I'm stocking up on some of the basics and essentials and just trying to get really organized in our pantry. And so I'm really excited. We have a Kroger haul that just came and then the big one is from Costco and it should be arriving any minute now. Um, but I'm super excited to just try to get organized. You guys know we were living in an RV for a long time and so we just didn't have the space to do something like this. And so I have been anticipating being able to do this for quite a while, but the kids are gonna be helping me out. Lincoln is already enjoying some of the food that came. And uh, we're just gonna get really organized today and I'm super, super excited about it. The kids are enjoying these little organic frozen popsicle things that we got from Costco. We still have a bunch of these left over because it came in a pack of like, 50 or something. <laughs> so we have plenty of those while we wait, but we were actually basically out of groceries. We were like trying to wait to be able to do like a nice big haul. So we ate like everything in the house. Everything. We made <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for lunch. And we were like, that's basically it. So yeah. we are ready for a nice big haul. I'm gonna show you guys what we got from Kroger really quickly and put away the cold stuff. And then we will show you the big stuff from Costco. So obviously when you're stocking up and buying in bulk, Costco is like the way to go. But there's a few things that we really like from other stores. We really do like Trader Joe's as well, but they're not close to us and so I'll probably go mid-month and stock up on some of like the fruits and veggies and a few specialty items from Trader Joe's. But here's a few things from Kroger that we also enjoy. So for our Kroger haul here, we got some dino nuggets that the kids really like. This is like the extra large box. And so we'll keep those in the freezer for just like a super easy lunch or dinner at some point. Um, and our kids really like granola. This is one that the kids, especially the girls, really enjoy. So we got some of that. Um, just a few things like beans and some mustard. And I got a couple of jars of this um, Alfredo sauce, although we did just get the Rayos, I think is what it's called, from Costco. So I only got a couple of those. And then some diced green chilies that Steven put in his queso and some Italian sausage for the queso as well. And then a bunch of these little bags of organic green beans. And our girls really like to make these on a regular basis, so the smaller bags work well for us. So just keeping some of those in the freezer. Another tub of whole milk yogurt, and we'll put a little bit of maple syrup in the granola on that. Our kids also really like cottage cheese, and we'll use this in like lasagnas and different recipes and that kind of thing. So I got a couple of those. Um, some green grapes, we normally do red, but they were out and so they gave us some green ones. So I'm sure the kids will still eat those. And then Steven is going to be making his ranch dressing for me because I'm wanting to eat a lot more salads. And he makes the best ranch dressing. So he uses sour cream and some parsley and green onion and fresh dill and that kind of stuff. But it's seriously so, so good. And then a variety of noodles and bread and stuff to make some super easy dinners. We love to do casseroles and that kind of stuff. So egg noodles, some spaghetti noodles and a few other kinds as well. And then we really like Dave's Killer Bread and we already had one loaf in the pantry so I just went ahead and got one more of those as well as the blueberry bagels. We really, really like those. We really like that brand. And then a couple of hot dog buns here that we got for the big package of hot dogs we got from Costco. And then Lincoln really likes these gluten-free pretzels. Are those your favorite, Linky? No. Yeah, you really, oh, so good. <laughs> You cannot tell, Lincoln loves those pretzels and he loves all of his snackies, don't you, Linky? So good. Oh, that's Mommy's. Yeah, okay, so this is like my favorite thing lately, guys. This Hue brand of chocolate is so good. It is absolutely delicious. It's healthier, it's made with like coconut sugar and it doesn't have any like refined sugar or like yucky additives and stuff and I just absolutely love it. They've got a lot of different varieties but I've been absolutely obsessed and so has Reese. So we get these whenever we can find them. And then some little heirloom tomatoes that I'm gonna put on my salad. I've been really craving salads lately. And honestly, this is the best mac and cheese. If you have a Kroger near you, the organic mac and cheese from Kroger is so delicious. 
delicious. It's better than any of the other brands that we've tried. And so we'll probably add some like meat and make it into like some sort of casserole at some point for like a dinner. Um, so we've got a few of those and then just a couple of other like condiments and that kind of stuff. That's all we really needed from Kroger because like I said, we're going to be doing a big haul from Costco and it should be here in just a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and put away these groceries and let the kids play for a little bit this afternoon. It's really beautiful weather right now. And so we're just trying to take it easy and chill, but I am, really looking forward to being able to just kind of get some more stuff done around the house. We're doing a lot of organizing and putting things away and it feels so good because we have waited for years to be able to do this and so it doesn't really feel like work to me because I've been anticipating it for so long um, and obviously we always buy so much food to feed this enormous family and so this is going to be a big chore trying to get our pantry organized and stuff but we're gonna just kind of do the basics of it today and then it'll just be a work in progress. Like, I will do it for treats. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, yum, 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 yum. It's bacon! Yeah, <laughs> I, I remember those. When I was in high school, I played Igor from the Frankensteins are back in town in our school play, and I just improvised with that as part of it. That was like the <laughs> voice that you did? That's no, I, Yes, master, I can help you get all your groceries in. And then, Link was like, what's wrong with that right now? But at one point, uh, they were like, Igor, go get a treat or something. And I was like, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, yum, 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 it's bacon! And everybody broke out laughing. That's funny. That was a big commercial back in the day. It was a big commercial. Do you like it, Angus? You do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah. He's like, I can do it too. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. <laughs> good, 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 good try, good try. Lick it, do it, right here, right? Lick it, right? Oh, good try. There it goes, Dad. Can you do it? Oh, <laughs> you tried. That was good try. So while we wait for the rest of the groceries to show up, I wanna say a huge thank you to Ada for sponsoring this video. Guys, Ada has a simple way to understand your risk status and eligibility for COVID-19 treatment through a fast and free online questionnaire. You can easily connect with a clinician within two hours via telehealth, and so you can do that however you want. If you prefer to do a phone call, that's $18, it's so affordable. Or if you prefer to do a video visit, that's just 37, so it's affordable and convenient because you don't have to leave the comfort of your own home. They can even send your prescription straight to your local pharmacy or depending on your location, they can send it to your house, which is amazing. So if you wanna take Ada's free online questionnaire and see if you're at risk for developing severe COVID-19 and to know your eligibility for treatment, go ahead and click the link in our description box down below. Super helpful. Hey boys, can you come help me put the Costco stuff away? Hey, Bob. Hi. It's just like old times, them coming down the stairs. Can I watch Lincoln scoot on down? Oh, come on! <laughs> oh. Were you guys playing Legos? Yeah. We'd have missed having our Legos, huh? <laughs> you love the Legos? Yeah, we had like a no Lego policy in the RV. Yeah, RVs and Legos do not mix together, but we've got the space now, and the boys yeah. really like it, don't you, Linky? Yeah. Oh. I think that literally might have been the biggest downside of the RV was not even like the lack of space but the fact that we just couldn't store any groceries in there yes. except for like three or four days worth so we were constantly having to go to the store and then you end up spending a lot more money too because you're like doing all these impulse buys and all of that and so to be able to like kind of meal plan and have the space to do so to have like a month's worth of groceries 
Ah, I'm so excited. I know I keep saying that, but like this is a big deal to someone who hasn't been able to do that for a couple of years and has had to feed a bunch of growing children that just want to <laughs> like eat nonstop. Day. Yeah, this is this is a big deal. Okay, so I know Amanda is going to extol the greatness of all of the groceries that we have gotten, <laughs> but none greater grocery have we purchased than this mm. Japanese barbecue sauce. Oh my gosh. Super good. And in the Costco changer. size too. And then like at the store, they're like this big, and at Costco, they're this big, yeah. <laughs> so. Which will last a month for us. It'll last a couple <laughs> days. So this is really good on, especially on like rice or like stir fries or that kind of thing. The kids are absolutely obsessed. So they'll just pour this over it. And it's like non-GMO. And Mr. Theo says hi too. The older kitties are hiding in the basement. Some of you guys have asked how our kitties are adjusting to Angus. And our little one, which is Reese's little one, is great. He's like been sleeping with Angus, like they're buddies. But our two older kitties are not so much. They have kind of warmed up to him a little bit. I don't know if they'll ever be buddies, but yeah, at least they're tolerating him. So I'll call that a win for now. Also, real quickly, since we're cutting into this apparently, I these know. rotisserie chickens. <laughs> so it's well, it's an easy form of protein. It is easy. That's it's why easy. I get it. So convenient, so cheap. It's literally five dollars at Costco to get one of these Woo! rotisserie chickens. And I find that we always end up ordering groceries when we're hungry. Do you want some chicken too, Lincoln? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, literally yeah, yeah. fall off the bone. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good. And so, yeah, that's just like super easy yeah. for uh, for the kids and Steven to have some quick protein. So, oh, we haven't even tried that with the rotisserie chicken yet. Oh, yes, I have. Oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, we approve. I also did just want to mention, because I know we had talked about this in the home tour, but we have some cabinet panels coming for this refrigerator. And they should be here this coming week, hopefully, according to plan. And then they will match the rest of our cabinets here. So right now, I just keep calling it my naked refrigerator. But, uh, you know, it does the trick. It still works. It's just not pretty yet. But it will be pretty. Yeah, you, you have chicken, don't you? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna officially jump into this grocery haul, but we have a bunch of organic tortillas here. This is a two pack of 19 count. We can put some in the freezer to make them stretch longer if we need to. And then I really like these organic noodles. This is a six pack and they just make a lot. So I can do like a whole casserole with one of these. And then a big package of the carrot gold butter, which you know is our favorite butter. This is a four pack of the Kerrygold and a very large thing of sour cream here. We've been doing a lot of quesadillas. I can put it in the chicken casserole that I make. So I decided to just go ahead and get a really big one from Costco this time. Um, and then these almond flour crackers. The kids really like the cheddar ones. They're also good for like dipping into the things. And so I got this big box of those. And then brie is Stephen and I's favorite. We love to put the kids to bed and we'll just do like crackers and brie and a couple things like that. So I wanted to go ahead and get one of those. And then some fresh mozzarella. I love chopping up the basil and tomato on that and doing the caprese salad. And so the two pack of those. And then I did go ahead and stock up on a lot of chicken here. This is a six pack of chicken thighs and a six pack of chicken breasts here. And I plan to just do a lot of meal planning, a lot of casseroles and just healthy, easy dinners. And so a lot of chicken there as well as a lot of ground beef. And this is like one, almost one and a half per pack, which is great for bigger families. And so I can just use one of these and mix it into a casserole. So six of those over there. And then I only got two of these 24 packs of the organic eggs this time, um, just because they take up a lot of space in the refrigerator, but I'll probably get an, a couple more of those if we go back in a few weeks. But I do really like having like the bigger packages of those because we go through a lot of eggs. And then I honestly did not realize this was gonna be such an enormous thing of peeled garlic, but we do love our garlic. Um, Stephen will cook with like three times the amount of garlic per recipe. So we'll definitely go through this, but I just think that's kind of comical. Like that is like an enormous thing of garlic. That's funny. And then some diced tomatoes just to keep on hand as well as some chicken stock. Um, I'm already thinking about like fall and doing soups and all that kind of stuff. And so we're just gonna keep a bunch of these on hand for those kinds of recipes. And then my all time favorite brand of pasta sauce, you guys, I can't remember if it's Rayo's or Rao's. We call it Rayo's. I think that's how you pronounce it. I know you guys have like told us in the comments before, uh, I think it's Rayo's, but I love their marinara sauce. I love their arrabbiata. I love their Alfredo. It is just so flavorful. It's better than regular pasta sauce. So, so, so good. And these two packs from Costco, 
are definitely more affordable. It's a bigger jar and it's less expensive than if you just buy these one at a time at regular stores. So I went ahead and stocked up on a bunch of those for all of the casseroles and things that we're gonna be making. And then my kids love hot dogs as well. And so we get these all beef hot dogs. Um, and this is like a steal at Costco. It is a fraction of the price. And if you were to buy it at a regular store, so we always get that from Costco. And then our favorite pickles are Grillo's pickles. And this is a ginormous tub of them. We'll eat them by themselves, but I'll also like chop them up and put them into like an egg salad and that kind of stuff. So those are really good. And then a big, big package of bacon. We love to do brunches and that kind of thing or put them into recipes. So we'll definitely go through a bunch of bacon. And then these are one of my favorites from Costco lately, the egg witch sandwiches. It's just eggs and turkey and cheese and they're super yummy. Just pop them in the microwave, super easy to make. And Lincoln loves these. We love to just kind of make an easy breakfast in the morning sometimes. So we'll do these a lot. And then a two pack of peanut butter and a very large thing of strawberry jam. The kids love this. And we make a lot of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, especially when we do back to school. Ethan literally takes a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every single day. Like he does not want anything else other than a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and some sides. And so we go through a lot of peanut butter and jelly. And we also go through a lot of cheese. So this is like a large two pack of Mexican cheese with the quesadillas and casseroles and that kind of stuff. And a two pack of the mozzarella as well. Again, casseroles and just so many things you can use that way. And then this is the first time that I bought this, but I really wanna be doing some more fish, especially just for myself if I'm just doing like a, a lunch for me, if I've already like fed the kids. It says these are individually wrapped and they're wild caught and it was only like $20 for this bag of them. So decided to go ahead and give that a shot. And then lots and lots of pepperonis. The kids will eat these by themselves. Lincoln will put these in his lunch box. Um, we love to do homemade pizza as well. So we'll put that as a topping. Um, apparently I did get two of these jams and I just realized that, that's funny. Okay, so we got plenty of peanut butter and jelly there. And then a big package of tuna and Steven and the girls will eat this. The boys don't really like tuna. And honestly, I ate it so much growing up as a kid that I, I just don't really like it anymore. But um, Steven and the girls really like it. So they will kind of make their own little bowls or sandwiches with that. And then a large thing of the Kirkland olive oil. We'll cook with this, we'll use it for salad dressings. So many uses for olive oil, obviously. And then just one package of bananas. The kids will eat this in like three days. We'll go through more bananas very, very quickly. And then this huge bag of organic rice will last us a few months, but we will cook with rice like three or four times a week at least. Um, and it's a really great deal, a lot more cost effective to buy in bulk on rice. So definitely going to be using that a lot. And also a big box of trash bags because we obviously go through a lot of trash. And then over here, Steven loves to make chicken wings. So a big, big bag of frozen chicken wings. The kids love those as well. And then just some of these organic sweet potato fries. They're so easy to just throw in the air fryer and um, we all love those as well. And I'm trying to do some more green smoothies. And so a big bag of the berries here. I have a bunch of spinach in the freezer. And so we'll just kind of make some green smoothies from that. And this is like a four pack of the organic broccoli and we'll put these you know with some of our dinners and that kind of stuff and then lastly we have a few cases of sparkling water here as well as some pellegrino i really love these bottles of pellegrino and the kids really like these sparkling waters we're trying not to do a lot of like sugary drinks and that kind of stuff so we kind of stick to sparkling waters for the most part and that kind of does the trick for us although i will say that steven just bought one of those like at home soda machines that you can kind of carbonate your own beverages. And so we tried that out last night and we were still kind of getting the hang of it. I think that there's like a technique to getting it as carbonated as like the cans and stuff that you normally buy, but it will save us a lot of money if we can get that working. And so I went ahead and got some cans this time just because the kids like love to drink those, but we might just switch to that machine if we can get it to work correctly. around here, which is meaning that they're uh, enjoying their food. 
That's the only time it's really silent. <laughs> All right, so the kids were getting really hungry and so we paused on organizing the pantry and went ahead and made dinner. And they were asking for the chicken manicotti that I made last week. I requested so it. You requested it, all of the boys requested it. It's actually really, really good. It's mainly just Alfredo sauce and some cottage cheese and some spinach and Italian herbs and garlic, lots of garlic. And we have like a year's worth of garlic at a this point. A year's <laughs> worth of garlic, or at least a week. <laughs> we will go through all of that garlic for sure. But I just think that's hilarious how much garlic we have. And then Steven just made a noodle-free version of it where it's just like the cheese and the chicken and the spinach and yeah. all of that. That. So being a little bit healthier on the lower <laughs> carb diet. So we're just gonna finish eating dinner and then I think we're gonna put on The Chosen tonight. The kids Such were wanting show, to, guys. yeah, um, not everybody in our family has seen all of it. And yeah. in fact, I don't think I've seen the last season. I think we're gonna go ahead and close it out and just spend time with the family this evening. But thanks for coming along with us today. So we did a little grocery haul. Just and a little one. Our little one, <laughs> little one. Um, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Yeah, see you guys. Bye. For your namesake. You will lead me